Reef Bum is sponsored by Bulk Reef Supply and Ecotech Marine. So you guys are dosing uh, vodka to help accelerate or propagate the bacteria growth in your uh, in, in your tank versus dosing bottled bacteria, correct? When I did the uh, Cipro treatment afterwards, I dosed a bunch of different bacteria. And since then, I've been adding the vodka basically to keep the bacteria where I want them. And, and how do you know, um, you know, the level of bacteria have you are you still doing aquabiomics test mike no because it, half the time it comes back inconclusive so I, I stopped doing that but i'm not seeing any problems with the coral so it's basically the eye test okay i'm not seeing rtn or stn so i'm assuming things are stable and better and the corals are much sta more stable so like i said i'm trying to keep things like this rather than here 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 and obviously that's paying benefits now and after doing all these things and getting to this point, I'm sticking with what has been working rather than, you know what, I'm gonna tweak this. I'm, I'm no longer of the opinion, I, I can make something that much better by making a change. It's more, I can make things that much better by keeping things stable. And, and how do you guys get to, the, uh, to that baseline level of vodka that you're dosing? I mean, do you kind of like follow those formulas that are out there? Because there is a risk if you dose too much of that stuff, then uh, that can cause issues. Yeah, you can get a gram-negative bacterial bloom and wipe out the fish very quickly. Uh, the worst case I saw that was uh, David Saxby's tank 20 years ago. He had an automatic vodka doser, and he was fiddling with it. And he went in the other room to take a phone call because cell phones weren't out yet. And the entire fifth of vodka got dumped in his tank. And three days later, you couldn't see the tank. It was totally cloudy, and all the fish were dying from big red sores on them from gram-negative bacterial infections. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. And then, yeah, then if, I'm not dosing that much. No, but if, so you dose a, really I could, if you dose a fifth in like 15 minutes, that's... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not dosing. Yeah, no. no. I dose 30 milliliters in three three liters of water, and then I dose 100 ml of that every day. No, I'm, I'm dosing... I'm dosing maybe one or two, one ml a day. Yeah, I'm dosing uh -huh. 30 milliliters a day. I got up, started at two and gradually got it up to where my nitrate levels are where I want them at, which is between 10 and 15. So I, I test every three days, and if the levels are good, I stay with what I'm going. If they get a little bit high, I add another extra little bit. If the levels are low, I add a little bit less. It, so, Mike, you're not dosing any more bottled bacteria like MB7 or anything like that. You're just doing the vodka dosing? Yeah, I because, uh, I mean... Talking with Claude Schumacher of Fauna Marin, he kind of laughed. He says, I don't understand all these people telling you to dose bacteria every week. Bacteria should live. If it doesn't live in your tank, what is the good, good of adding it? And I have to agree with him. I mean, bacteria live virtually in everything and everywhere. If you've got to dose it every three days, uh, there's something wrong. 